Hi, I'm Kevin Cal Callagher. I'm the editorial cartoonist for The Economist Magazine of London and for CounterPoint, an online newsletter. I'd like to thank the editors and staff at The Economist for tolerating a cheeky Yankee cartoonist in their midst for 43 years. And the folks at CounterPoint for plotting a new way forward for editorial cartoons on the web via a free and subscription newsletter. I'd also like to thank my wife for something perhaps even more difficult, and that's tolerating me for 2020 as I churned out cartoons in close quarters during the COVID lockdown. I'm also extremely grateful as a cartoonist for all the cartoonish politicians around the globe who've made my job so easy during my career. We have past U.S. presidents like Barack Obama and vice presidents like Dick Cheney. We have the current president, Joe Biden. And we have someone who thinks he's president or maybe something else. We also have cartoon villains from abroad that need to be recognized like the Kims of North Korea and Vladimir Putin of Russia, who here, when asked by Germany's Angela Merkel to stop meddling in foreign elections, he declares, you have my word. But then his guards behind him say, and his word is Niet. But the star villain of 2020 was the coronavirus. And fortunately for cartoonists, the telltale round spiked COVID-19 molecule made a perfect drawing device. It was a tennis ball in the middle of a blame game between US and China. It could be a bowling ball to punish non-compliant citizens. Or a baseball to show Trump's incapacity to hit the growing threat. Or a soccer ball to show Brazil's Bolsonaro inability to kick the problem from his country. Or it could be a shot put in the Tokyo Olympic Games. But its most important sports metaphor has to be as a tune-up for the world's next fight with global warming. I have one last point of gratitude. In January 2020 marked the fifth anniversary of the bloody attack on Charlie Hebdo. In the memory of that attack on free speech, I am grateful that I live and work in a society that embraces freedom of expression. And I'm grateful to be joined in the journalistic trenches with colleagues like you who will fight for truth and against intolerance. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.